A Michigan State University police captain arrested for drunk driving. You have no reason to arrest me. And this is all on camera. It's all on tape. Video showing what happened when state troopers pulled her over. Off the top at 11, troopers say that Michigan State University police captain had a blood alcohol level more than three times the legal limit. Captain Valerie O'Brien was arrested back on February 10th. Jason Colthorpe is live tonight with a video from that night. Jason. Yeah, this was a real doozy, guys. And at one point during this arrest, the trooper asked Captain O'Brien, can you rate how drunk you think you are on a scale of one to 10? She refused to answer that which was probably a good idea since the test came back showing she was super drunk, 0.25. Michigan State University Police Captain Valerie O'Brien was belligerent from the beginning when she was pulled over by a state trooper February 10th, just off I-96 west of Lansing. Watch your head getting in. Yep, I got it. I'm suing you. Several times she yelled at the trooper that she was going to sue him. You didn't know how fast I was going. I'm suing you. As she struggled with field sobriety tests. I'm suing you. I'm suing you. I'm suing you. Eventually, she was placed in the patrol car and then has this exchange with the trooper when he asks if her department issued handgun is in the vehicle. I'm going to answer. Okay, we're going to search it and find it if it's That's in there. fine. Go ahead and search my car. I did nothing wrong. I just want to secure it if it's in there. Fellow NBC affiliate WILX, which first obtained the video, reports that O'Brien is on paid leave since her arrest. That's fine. O'Brien had just returned from a year and a half leave in September that the Lansing State Journal reports was classified as a suspension. You have no reason to arrest me. And this is all on camera. It's all on tape. All right, just sit back for me, okay? Man? No! Several expletives in there as well. MSU police uh, did release a statement to WILX basically saying this is not how we expect an officer to act. And by the way, if O'Brien's name sounds vaguely familiar, she was the lead detective in 2014 in a Larry Nassar complaint filed by Amanda Tomashow, one of the Nassar survivors. She was later investigated for how she handled that investigation. Uh, the MSU department did recommend charges, but the Ingham County Prosecutor's Office declined to file them. Reporting live, Jason Coulthorpe, Local 4.